Hello friends. In this little small series, we are going to be talking about different things that raw vegans, different foods, items that people who are in the raw industry keep in their diets, but they're not really raw. They are just, but they still are kept in a lot of raw vegans diets because this helps them to stay high raw. And I am also in this category. I keep stuff that is not 100% raw, but I keep it because like others, it helps me to stay on this raw lifestyle. If you are interested in learning about these products that we keep in our diets and why we keep them in our diets, and also some of the benefits that they have, then um, keep watching. The next item we're gonna be talking about is nutritional yeast. This is another product that most raw vegans keep in their diet to help them stay high raw. Nutritional, nutritional yeast is heated and they, they do this to help stop the yeast growth. The main ingredient of nutritional yeast is glucose. This usually comes from either sugar cane or beet molasses. When the nutritional yeast is ready, it is deactivated with high heat, making, it, making this product not raw. So from what my research of nutritional yeast, nutritional yeast is not raw, it is vegan. One of the reasons why many raw vegans love using nutritional yeast in their dishes, dressings, dips, etc. is because it has a cheesy flavor. And this is perfect to get that cheese taste in many dishes. Nutritional yeast is also very, um, how would I say, very, very savory, it has a savory flavor, and it kind of helps you to um, kind of feel a little bit more full. This is another reason why a lot of raw vegans love using this in their dishes. So again, nutritional yeast is not raw. It is um, vegan, but it is not raw. But it's okay, most of us keep this dish, I'm sorry, this product in our diet to help us stay high raw. 